the story ends up going back much further. So the desire for a, you know, let's just, let's just call it, you know, single payer, you know, universal coverage, it actually started with FDR. So as FDR's New Deal during the Great Depression, he actually wanted to have universal health coverage and a healthcare safety net as well. And it was, it was highly opposed by physicians in America and a whole bunch of other folks too. And he really, and FDR really wanted social security. So he scrapped his whole universal healthcare idea. And it's like, fine, like, I'm not even going to fight that battle because I really want Social Security. So he was able to get Social Security passed. But that whole idea, you know, really has been championed by every single Democratic president since FDR. So actually, Truman and Kennedy also wanted to do it as well. And so I thought that it was, quote unquote, LBJ's idea, but it was not LBJ's idea. But what happened was, was that there was a landslide Democratic victory in 1964. And so not only did you have Johnson get reelected, but then you also had Democrat control of the House and the Senate. And so that's what actually then allowed them to pass. And it wasn't even called Medicare. It was Medicare was, a, was the media term for it. And then it just stuck. And I'm like, well, we don't know what to call it. And so, you know, all the news agencies and newspapers, they call it Medicare. So like, fine, that's what we're going to call it. And it was really two separate pieces of legislation. And one of, one of those pieces of legislation was called the, the Kerr-Mills Act. And then there was another piece of legislation. And they combined those two pieces of legislation 